It's Tuesday morning. That means it's time for another Tom and Shane uh, podcast video. Happy to have you, <clears throat> excuse me, along with us. And uh, hey, if you're new here, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We've got some new subscribers. I'd like to welcome our new subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Ring the notification bell. You'll always be notified wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, whenever we have another podcast and like us and leave a comment because well youtube really likes that kind of crap they they <laughs> move us up in the search uh, stuff if you if you do that so it's pretty cool and also if you'd like to support us monetarily there is some cost to putting these things on so we would appreciate it if you would uh, click on the description uh, below and uh, contribute and of course we're brought to you by streamyard and um it's simple to use. There's a link to the description below, and you can uh, try it out and see if you like it. And also, Shane and I, the award-winning Tom and Shane, the Swiss Army Knives of Business and Politics, we both write on medium.com, and there are links to um, the um, our writings below in the YouTube description and on our replays. And uh, today's topic, we want to talk about the cost the true cost, Shane, of a gallon of gas. And before we go there, though, we've got to talk about the price to get oil out of the ground. <laughs> we got to go there first. <laughs> we can't have gas without oil. So but that's well, true. What's the sweet spot, Shane? You're in the well, oil. Your family was in the oil and uh, oil business. So that's right. I mean, um, it depends on type of oil well that you're drilling. I mean, mm -hmm. if it's a recovery well, you know, you, 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 you know, fifteen twenty dollars from a fifty hundred year old well pump and fifteen to fifty barrels a day. But um, mod modern uh, technology, uh, on a platform, you know, it's about eighty five dollars. Uh, most land oil, uh, you know, drilling is uh, sixty five. Uh, it's uh, it's the natural gas. Uh, that uh, from the fracking because uh those wells are deep uh they, they run about twenty thousand feet on land and or, you know up to and mm -hmm. uh so you know it can that can cost you anywhere from five to six million to drill and then to do the the fracking is the horizontal drilling is another couple of million and plus fracking is four million to uh um, hopefully provide uh, enough natural gas to recover which is around four dollars uh a million cubic feet so yeah. We we talked about this two years ago because the price of natural gas had, had dropped below four dollars, and I was concerned about it. But of course, now that's not an issue. Yeah. And and with oil now up again at a one hundred four, and I'm expecting it to be a one fifty mm -hmm. by September. I still yeah. see it going. I still see it going higher. Yeah. Uh, we're having some inter internet issues. We may come and go this morning. I don't know. You know, we got a tin can and a string up here in Montana. To <laughs> use the internet so we yeah may, we may skip out now and then so <laughs> bear with us um as far as supplier shane uh and i'm going to read this for the benefit of the people who are only watching or listening on audio of our uh, broadcast uh 9, independent oil and natural gas producers in the united states these companies operate in 33 states and offshore and simply uh, and employ an average of just 12 people running those uh, 9,000. And that's kind of what your family did. Uh, they were independent drillers, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So, my, in fact, when my, we, I was six months old when we moved from Alberta to Montana because my dad was in the oil business in Montana, as his grandfather mm -hmm. was. My grandfather drilled the Discovery Well in the Turner Valley in Alberta. So he, he was a wildcatter, mm -hmm. opened up yeah. Alberta mm -hmm. and sold. Uh, his uh, discovery to Imperial Oil that was uh, named the Golden Spike because it was an, like an upside down uh, nail, mm -hmm. and he'd literally he'd literally drilled into the top of it, oh. and, the forma and the formation <laughs> went down like this. So, a uh, hundred yards either side or in any direction of where he drilled, you would you, you'd had to have gone no a dry hole, huh? Well, no, you'd <laughs> had to go another five or. 800 feet oh i so, see okay so he, he hit you. he hit the nail on the head and oh, yeah cool. so uh, he sold that yeah. and uh, he was a wildcatter in western canada mm -hmm. and went out yeah. there after the market crashed but uh, yeah. you know the interesting thing people need to understand that uh, 
to refine the, uh, a, a barrel uh, or a gallon of oil for this mm-hmm. or of oil, you know, it only costs between around forty and seventy cents U.S. Mm-hmm. for the for the uh, you know them to p- produce and and mm-hmm. uh, make you know turn oil into gasoline and diesel. It's a, it's a little bit more for diesel. It's about eighty or ninety. But the, the the long story short, what you point out, you know, these poor fellows running these now independently owned stations are, mm-hmm. you know, they make about sixty to sixty five grand a year. Is all this? This is not a big. This is not a big like business to be in unless you own three <laughs> or four of them. I mean, you know, you own mm-hmm. three or four yeah. of them, it'd be a pretty good deal. All right. Uh, Bob Vanderval, County Tom and Shane from New Jersey. Bob is the uh, editor of the Bakken Oil Business Journal. Uh, so he is a, he's been in the oil business for 50 some years. So we hope he'll comment on uh, whatever we're talking about. And uh, he's uh, quite a, he's quite a uh, oil guy and quite a personality too, by the way. Yeah. We've had him on the show. Yeah, on we've Saturday. had him on the show. So yeah. He's, he's, yeah. You know, welcome, welcome. Especially yeah. back in the day, you know, in, in North Dakota, when, mm-hmm. you know, the, the whole issue of it, uh, happening yeah, 10 and 10 years ago it was the continental mm-hmm. oil was the big player because they bought up the most leases yeah and uh it was an interesting structure because um it was like a bowl structure you know and mm-hmm. uh, uh continental had bought a lot of the of the acreage in north dakota in the middle of the bowl mm-hmm. i'm talking underground the structure was you know bowl yeah. underground and uh, he did really well by that. He, he turned it, Continental into a billion-dollar oil company yeah. on land. On yeah. land. that that doesn't happen. Boy, yeah. that hadn't happened in years. You know, I think there it was Ox- Occidental was actually the last one to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, with Bob on the air, he can fact check our things we're going to talk about today, Shane. So I'm sure he will. That's we'll good. have a fact checker on the air. So, well, we got the uh, we got the oil out of the ground. We got it to the refineries and. And uh, now we got to go to the gas stations and uh, the market size measured by revenue of the gas station industry, 113.6 billion in 2022. We're only halfway through the, uh, we're only halfway through the, um, uh, the year. And um, so I guess how many gas stations are there? Uh, I, I find there's 145,000, yeah. uh, 127,000 of them. Uh, are convenience stores. Uh, they sell everything from beer and chips and aspirin and uh, fast food, coffee, soft drinks, whatever. Uh, so, uh, yeah, quite a quite an industry. Yeah, back in 2014 when this happened or was starting to happen and the majors were getting out of the totally vertically integrated industry, meaning selling the retail side of it, I mean, th- these gas stations sold for around two million dollars back in 2014, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, they could, they were generating back then around three hundred thousand a year in profit because the, mm-hmm. they had better contracts then than they do now mm-hmm. with the oil industry. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the oil uh, oil company uh, use of their name and uh, products and whatever. Uh, you know, you can't have uh, two pumps of Conoco and three pumps of Exxon. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you are locked in, baby. You're locked in, baby. There's no, uh, yeah, there's no uh, going anywhere else. I guess you could change if you want, but, uh, uh, but yeah, that, um, that would be, um, that would be interesting to see. But, so, you know, the, the, the uh, interesting thing, in fact, in 2014, if you did go into this industry, mm-hmm. you know, that was cheaper than buying, a, a, you know, a, mm-hmm. a, a name brand, you know, like a food. Mm-hmm food food mm-hmm. chain store you know setting up at mcdonald's or an outback or yeah you know that that was still cheaper than that and mm-hmm. so it and, and less of a hassle i mean you know owning a restaurant is you can make a lot of money in a restaurant but you can yeah. lose a lot more than you yeah. can ever make it's it's uh, one of the toughest businesses out there yeah, we've, it is. we've talked about it before yeah, exactly yeah bob's bob's pointing out uh warren buffett is now the major stockholder in occidental uh, petroleum so yeah he bought another yeah. yeah he bought another two million shares so he's he's up to ten percent uh they just announced today yeah uh, yeah so he's yeah. uh he's getting up there so well, well it's a 14 it's a 14 yeah. billion dollar oil company so i don't mm-hmm. see him he'll jump on it i mean he makes 400 million million 400 million in berkshire 
a week in cash. That's yeah. one point eight billion a month. A month. I mean that. Yeah. I mean that's like twenty billion a year in cash that that Berkshire Hathaway makes. I, mean, I was going to say the guy has two nickels to rub together, doesn't he? Nah, he has <laughs> silver dollars, baby. <laughs> Looks like so. Well, the actual uh, gas station we need to talk about, the markup on a gallon of gas, about 15 cents a gallon. That's before expenses. And then you got to pay rent, utilities, freight, labor, credit card fees, uh, employees, uh, whatever. And uh, out of that 15 cents, you end up making about two cents a gallon on uh, your gas. So uh, gas stations that average 4,000 gallons a day make about $100 uh, in uh, gas sales per day and of course yeah I mean, state and local tax yeah. right. state and local taxes average around 35 cents a um, yeah. gallon and then that's on gas 30, 36 cents on on diesel mm -hmm. and uh, you know the weighted average of a fuel tax in, in across your state uh, country is about 53 cents mm -hmm. or you know for gas and uh, about 61 mm -hmm. cents for diesel so yeah that's a big chunk of it it's 10% yeah, no, it is. Yeah, yeah. The uh, gas station owners make about sixty nine thousand a year, uh, sixty thousand if you're on the west coast, because they got all those different blends and everything you got to have out in California and some of those areas. But uh, that's not a lot of money, uh, Shane. Uh, no, running, not today. Running no. running a station, uh, pretty uh, pretty low price there. So yeah, and uh, you know, I guess we should just comment you know on on the rise of the price of gasoline in the last couple mm -hmm. of years i mean it's a number of things it's not any one thing yeah y yes the government policy of your president mm -hmm. and the demolition party has probably be 70 percent responsible but also to the regulations on the industry and particularly the uh, uh you know the production of it mm -hmm. and and the cost of maintenance of of uh, oil facilities that has obviously uh, gone up and you know shutting it down like when, when you shut down the production from a, a petroleum plant and then start it back up you know it causes leaks and issues that you know because of pressure you know it's all under pressure um, so when you, you know, when sometimes when you uh, release pressure in in a operation like that, and then you know load it back up again, you you know blow seals and you cause issues that you have to deal with, and that's mm -hmm. uh, that's another cost. And of course, the the cost of transporting became expensive. You know, yeah. uh, a lot of truckers moved from moving oil because no one was using it. You know, to uh, moving 18 wheel products you know containers sure and yeah. uh and they found that longer trips just made more money and uh you know guys that drive trucks you know they, they, they they're somewhat i hate to say the word loners but i mean they it's something they enjoy you know it's very mm -hmm. comfortable and what i have you ever been in a big rig i mean they're comfortable <laughs> well more more so than they used to be that's for sure uh, yeah it's, it's yeah. like riding you know it's like <laughs> being on, on some farm equipment yeah. i mean you know you yeah. got air conditioning and you know it's all glass and lots of sunlight and you're out there yeah. by yourself you got music and you know you're you're sitting on a spring uh, you know chair and you know, yeah. it's, it's comfortable <laughs> yeah there, there you sitting. go yeah uh, Wendy says, yay, caught you live. Well, Wendy, you'll never miss catching us live if you subscribe and ring the notification bell. You'll always get a notification of where we are, when we're on, and all of that. So we appreciate you joining us, Wendy. Thanks thanks for being here. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, we, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> But I don't. I don't see gas dropping in price. I know that you know they're, they're carrying this big tune now. Oh, it's dropped fifty four cents, and you know it's going to go lower. Mm. And you know the president's been successful at what he's doing. No, he hasn't. I mean, uh, it, it. It's the marginal price drop is not a result of anything, any government policy. It's just that the production has increased. Yeah. And uh, this trip to the Middle East was. Uh, you know, I mean. How embarrassing! I mean, nothing accomplished there, and and all yeah. he did is make himself look foolish, pounding hand. I mean, yeah. pounding hands, really. Like, yeah, I know. You, yeah. you know, 
that's yeah. so pre that's so covid that it's like you know if you pound hands now all you're doing is reminding people of covid you know you get, yeah. if, if you know if you're not gonna yeah. shake someone's hand just hi yeah yeah you're yeah. talking about you're talking about a fist bump not pounding yeah. hands so whatever pounding yeah hands. High <laughs> I mean, five. yeah high, right. high six whatever. yeah you, yeah you gotta have all that stuff so yeah well, uh, to talk about that, the market size of gas station uh, in the U.S. Uh, has grown slower than the overall economy. A lot of people think, oh, they're making all kinds of money hand over fist here. But uh, I think the gas gas and oil is about 118th of the largest industry. So they're down the they're down the pike uh, a little ways uh, in, uh, you know, that uh, the, there's a lot of superficial cost. But the uh, what trickles out the bottom ain't much. Well, that's true, but you know, directly, there's you know, there's over a quarter of a million people that directly work. In, oh, sure. In, in, no, in, 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 in the yeah, American, it's a, it's in the American industry, it's a big right, industry. In, in the American yeah. industry, and there's close mm -hmm. to a million people yeah. worldwide that work directly. Mean you know something to do with drilling or hauling or pipes yeah. or yeah, it, it's a very significant employer, mm -hmm. and uh, one of these things that. I, I don't know how even you know, mm -hmm. the people dealing with the global warming issue and everything, uh, yeah. you know, feel they justify what, what they're talking about. They all drive cars. Yeah. All of them. You know? yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to get rid of fossil fuels uh, 50 to 75 years, maybe. <laughs> well, that's right, and yeah. and you know we again I, I mentioned this because I want people to go check it out. Star Technologies, Australian company, yeah. uh, solved the problem. They have a little technology called the Hero, and uh, it works. They've been testing it like literally for fifteen mm -hmm. years, and all you know they've spent. It's worse than trying to pass something through the FDA, because global governments just they don't want something that can solve the electrical problem. Because yeah. you solve the electrical problem, you you do get a, get rid of a lot of 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 uh, of, of this. You, 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 I mean, you solve the electrical problem. You don't need coal, gas, solar. Mm -hmm. You don't need wind. You, I mean, you don't need dams. Yeah. You know, you can it. take you can take dams down and let rivers flow freely. Well, except mm -hmm. in flood zones, of course. Yeah. Sure. And for and water storage, but I, mm -hmm. you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sure. So uh, if, if you have the industry that exists now. And governments existing now blocking technology or preventing the development of technology, um, it, it's a sad, it's a sad sort of thing. It's, and one of the other problems is, you know, they spent trillions of dollars on solar and and wind. Yeah. And, you know that 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 would be a big failure on their part if something simple comes along. <laughs> yeah. Well, where's where, where's PETA when it comes to uh, where's where's PETA when it comes to solar? Uh, you've got to clear acres of land, and that means you got to displace every animal on that land. You know, where's PETA about the rabbits and, and, and uh, food. gophers and, and uh, food production? You, you yeah, interrupt food because it's got to yeah. be placed where there's sun. Yeah, and you yeah. know where there's a regular amount of sun is food production. Yeah. So yeah, and you're talking about a large uh, acreage. Uh, you know, as I've always said, if you can get a solar panel the size of a dime that produces the same electricity that's now the size of a small Buick, uh, then you got something. But uh, until, well, until the, that technology the, catches up, uh, it ain't going to happen. The inconvenient truth you're finding is now, you know, you've, you've got some guy who flew around the plane, uh, you know, paying off uh, leaders in countries like, you know, look at Amsterdam, look, I'm the Netherlands, you know, the, the, because they're not going to use fertilizer. And now they, they're running into the same problem Sri Lanka's running into. He's trying to do a deal with the IMF because, mm -hmm. you know, their their previous uh, president and family who'd run the country for forty years left. And and remember, Sri Lanka was uh, the land of civil yeah. war with the, the tigers, the Tamil mm -hmm. tigers of the north. I mean, it, it they had a civil war there. We watched for twenty years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and th then they became self sufficient. Mm -hmm. And then a year ago, we're convinced. Well, you can't use fertilizers now. It, you know, seventy percent of the farms are gone. They're starving. They're broke. And yeah. and this is a pattern you're going to see because mm -hmm. you know global warming is justified. It like it, yeah. it, 
So you wonder why. I mean, it, you and I always wonder why. That's why we yeah. do these programs. And that's why we talk about all the reality mm -hmm. that, that, that people just don't seem to want to discuss. Because you, you always... You always have these politicians saying we should have that discussion, but they never do. They never do. Yeah, yeah. They never have the discussion. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Bruce says not true. I build a. I can build a hydro-powered car, but the economy isn't ready for it yet. Well, I, the technology is there, but uh, we aren't. Uh, we aren't there yet. Uh, Bob chimes in. Natural gas will be the transport uh, transition fuel uh, in the production of energy for the U.S. And I think that's. I think that's true. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's been going on for uh, for quite a while. Uh, we're moving toward that, uh, no question. And uh, and uh, remember the horse and buggy. Society wasn't ready for the automobile. No, they weren't. That tax, that, <laughs> but, that taxi drone is coming, baby. I'm telling you right yeah. now. And you know, even perhaps in years of my lifetime, within the next twenty years. Yeah, maybe. Car, car cars are the cars mm -hmm. are the. Uh, you know, yeah. they, they're the uh, the wagon of the, you know, of 18th, the future, huh? 19th, no, they're the wagon of the 19th century. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the car is going extinct, yeah. folks, in, in the next 30 yeah. years. We won't, we will put. And then what are you going to do with all these highways you build? Like, no, I mean, I, I guess you'll still use. Well, you're you're going to need a, well. What, they'll what, be used what, for heavy transport. No, what will happen to the highways is that your drones will follow the highways. Nah, they, they'll have That's highways like, in the sky. But a great use of <laughs> yeah. highways that have been built would be, be to put high strength, high, because if they're already built, you could put high yeah. speed trains on them. You now could that, do that. You know, you know, incredible subway systems, like literally across mm -hmm. the country. So you could do that. You know, yeah. you know yeah. you, you'd have the platform already to build it on. So mm -hmm. you, you don't even have yeah. to put it in the air. Yeah. You just derail it, baby. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. We've got to, um, uh, one other thing uh, we've got to talk about, Shane, is back in, uh, I think it was 2009, in March, uh, gas or uh, oil was uh, like $140, $150 a barrel. And by December, it was $35. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how long before gas prices return to some form of normal? And I'm not sure what normal would be two bucks a gallon three bucks no. a gallon no natural gas is uh, no no not natural gas i'm talking oh. about gasoline oh no th 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 this is going to be the norm five dollars is going to be the norm yeah that, yeah because that's uh, you know the, the, the global warming they you know they want to eliminate it and you know they they were trying to eliminate it in other manners and uh, now they're right. finding the best success because of covid they learned Mm -hmm. um you know that the price is going to be the 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 push you know you, you just, mm -hmm. yeah you know. i mean when, when you you know inflation is over 12 percent, heading to 15 it's not going away folks it's only going to get worse it, it by you know by 24 it'll be you know still holding around 12 to 15 percent because of the policies that have been initiated uh the cost of transportation of everything we eat you know all of it delivered by 18 wheelers 80 90 percent mm -hmm. and so all these things um are going to be um somewhat uh, made difficult because you know what's coming is the artificial intelligence for driving and then you replace all those drivers mm -hmm. whether it's with a combustion engine or electric engine on an 18 wheeler you know i, yeah. I mean I'll, I'll, there's just going to be a lot of changes you don't have a driver you, you know, it's just a computer. You, you, the cost mm -hmm. that might help drop the cost of things, but that's yeah, that's 20 25 years. Yeah, it's going to be a while for that. Mm -hmm. Um, Bruce says natural gas doesn't have the BTU to power cars. Well, I know the post, the uh, postal uh, is going to natural gas powered cars and we propane. Mail. Yeah, yeah, propane. we, we, have, we yeah. have a lot of bus, yeah. buses here in Kamloops that run on propane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where we uh, that's what we're talking about. And yeah. well, when we when we talk about natural gas, we're talking about propane as well. And mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about uh, you know gas in uh, in some form, I guess. But look, <laughs> yeah. when you you know, you already know again. You know, if you have a barbecue, what the cost of propane is because you go out and replace your tank. You know, and so it's it's uh, propane's mm -hmm. a really nice gas. It's clean. It's sweet. 
Yeah. And but but it's a different distilled uh, product, you know. So mm -hmm. it's not yeah. as easily produced as natural gas. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what we're looking at. So, well, um, yeah. As we as we. Oh, I, about, I, just, I just this is real important. Yeah. I sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, oh. I, I want everyone to know that there's clean and dirty natural gas. Uh, clearly, clean comes out of the ground clean, but the other comes out with uh, 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 for for uh, fertilizer. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? The yellow, <laughs> the yellow byproduct in fertilizer. You brought it up. I can't. My my. I just had a. I just had a mind fart. Okay, yeah. I'll think of it. In a but you know, it, it, they they strip it out of the. Mm. the uh, uh yeah. the gas we, we we had that in, in vancouver because mm -hmm. they pi they piped all of the gas directly out of alberta to vancouver to the yeah. harbor yeah. to get it and you know they'd stack it sulfur? that thank you that sulfur <laughs> gas that's exactly what it is and and they'd pipe it to the harbor and they had these gigantic buildings mm -hmm. you know and yeah. they were like uh t t t buildings yeah. um you know, on the north shore of the you know and with sulfur, it's just piled high, man. And oh, yeah. You know, the, yeah. The big tankers would pull up, to, or, well, cargo yeah. ships, which sure. you know, for them to fill them with uh, with, yeah. uh, with the sulfur, and off they'd go to make matches and fertilizer. The yeah. India, mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's where we're, that's where we're, that's where we're headed, so. I, I'm, but, I'm waiting for Biden to take a plane to China to ask for oil, you know. I think. Yeah. I mean, China is one of the largest oil producers in the world. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, natural gas will be used to run energy plants in place of coal. Well, you can't make concrete or steel without coal. So gas isn't going to get hot enough to uh, to do that. So uh, we're, we're not going to get away from coal anytime soon, as long as you want to have steel and uh, and concrete. So, Well, to give you an idea how clean the gas was, my father found in Montana, um, any farm that gave him, a, you know, or sold him, you know, leases uh -huh. to drill and he found gas, he, he would dig and run a gas line to their farm, yeah. their barn and their outbuildings in the house. So they'd all be on natural gas and he gave yeah. it to him free. Yeah. So that's Very. how clean it, that's how clean it is. Yeah. yeah. Some, some, sure. some gas is clean. Some, all is, right. dirt, some is dirty. <laughs> that's for sure. So. Well, we covered a lot today. Uh, maybe some final thoughts, Shane. Uh, what do you What do you think? Um, where Where are we headed uh, the, in the next? Uh, uh, you know, we've got this Green New Deal going on, and uh, you know, gas is uh, you know priced out of the out of the range of average citizens. Uh, so, what are we looking at here? Let's predict some uh, some down the road uh, changes or. Or improvements, well, or bad things, or good things, or what? The, the earnings per share crash I've called this since 2021 November is now interrupted the investment of billions in the oil industry and combined with the Green New Deal. So while they're still spending that kind of money, uh, anyone new, like with with a new idea or new, is finding it difficult to raise money. So that's a problem. Number two. Uh, the continued policy of the existing administration in both our countries uh, is going to lead to higher oil prices. Mm -hmm. And regrettably, yeah. uh, the third thing, this issue in Eastern Europe, if it turns ugly. I mean, did you see uh, what happened over the weekend? Uh, um, Lithuania picked up the Russian um, TV station. They shut down four months ago in Russia because they said war, you know, the, the invasion mm -hmm. in Ukraine's yeah. war. Russian government shut shut down uh, this T Russian TV station, so they went to Lithuania and they said, "Okay, well, you can stream from here." And now that's a that's a dangerous thing because yeah. now now you give Putin a reason to go after the Baltic states. You, you know, well they're you know they're against me, and I can't have them telling me I'm a, you know there's a war yeah. I don't like. So it, there's so many triggers with the potential for major war in Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, all bets yeah. are off. Now, having said all that, we're, you're, we're still, you and us, Americans, we're in a recession. It's mm -hmm. getting worse every day because they don't want to accept it. Yeah. Uh, no one's talking about it uh, up front like we do. So uh, it's not getting better. And, and everything, it, there's a lock on everything, Thomas. Everything's going to stand still. 
maybe for two years longer. Yeah. It could be longer. Yeah. I think so. Well, according to Bob, we passed the uh, fel uh, the uh, fact check uh, deal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so we're happy that uh, yeah. If, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Bob is the uh, editor of the Bakken uh, Oil Business Journal. So master uh, he, of the Bakken, baby. He is the master of uh, oil. Uh, Fifty years in the oil uh, business. So uh, yeah, we we appreciate uh, him joining us uh, online very much. And uh, yeah, um, well, uh, my to my thinking, uh, you know, it, it's not in the best interest. Um, uh, of the U S to keep going the way they are. Um, and maybe the midterms will have some effect and change, uh, on the direction we're headed. Well, that's your uh, only hope. Yeah. That's what no, I, no, that's, seriously. It, it, yeah, is. it, it is. is. If, it is. Yeah. If, if the Republicans don't manage to, uh, win the house at least. Yeah. And make, uh, make, mm -hmm. uh, this idiot. Sorry. I shouldn't say it. Uh, make Biden this idiot. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I did it again. Yeah. Um, a lame duck, or yeah. really a dead. He's a dead duck already. I mean, the guy. Yeah. He's not. He, he's our, He's not even lame anymore. He's just yeah. a dead duck. Well, we've still got two more years uh, to deal That's with this. That's the and, danger. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so. Well, it, it is. It, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so voting this uh, November is uh, going to be pretty important. Uh, you know, because we've got a. Uh, and I agree with you, Shane. Uh, the uh, at least taking back the House, so we've got, so we've got uh, voices on both sides of the aisle, so to speak. Um, you know, well, I mean, they, we're coming up to less than a hundred days till the election. I know. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, for uh, for all those people out there that care mm -hmm. or not, I'm only throwing this out there. Um, it, it looks like it's you know, uh, you know, I I I forecasted that if the Republicans take over the House and the Senate, Trump runs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because he, he will take that as a signal, as a mandate. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what, that's, yeah. that's the way they look at these things. Uh, right yeah. now, that's looking good because he's had huge success with people he's backed. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the 31 Democrats that uh, mm -hmm. have retired and 28 Republican congressmen that have retired, I mean, yeah. you know, that's 60 right there that have mm -hmm. brand new. Brand yeah. new. So yeah. the odds are they're going to pick those 60 up and whatever other ones they throw out, you know? So yeah. holy cow, this, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying this, but the potential for this to be a 70 mm -hmm. or 80 sit, seat swing, it, yeah. you know, it, the worse the economy gets, the more likely that is, Tom. Really well, I was going to say, it depends a lot on what happens between now and then, you know, gas prices have come down some, uh, not a lot, but you know they 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 are going in the right direction uh at least for yeah the, for the yeah, drivers well, out yeah. There. so now gas yeah. goes down and and now it's can i you know now i can afford well i i can buy gas and buy a little more food yeah. i mean yeah. right now right or now medicine. you know yeah or, you, you, know, something. You, yeah. You, you have to buy gas and have less food you know yeah so now right. gas drops you can buy a little more food that's yeah. not a good thing you know no it isn't but but uh, yeah, we got so many things, uh, so many things going on at once. It's like a perfect storm for the Republican Party, no question yeah. about that. I think, sure. and uh, so um, yeah, uh, I, I think a lot will depend on where gas goes between now and Election Day. You know, if we get if if it goes below four or three or whatever, like it did in two thousand nine, uh, then uh, you know, I don't know. It's um, I think that'll have a, have an effect, um, you know, negatively on the Republican Party. So we'll see. Negative. Why? Why would it be in a negative effect on the Republican? Because Party? the Democrats have brought the price of gas down. They're in power. So whether they did it or not well, is a whole I, other story. I, you know. I, I don't think people. I, as a as a voter, I, I wouldn't look at it that way. I, I you know, I, I, you know, because well, people, it is. A, it, people aren't yeah. that stupid. He, yeah, they are. Gas yeah, they is are. not the price of gas is not dropping because of Biden. People, come on, the voters are stupid. They elected Biden. They just had a poll, Steve uh, Tom. <laughs> seventeen only, you know, seventeen percent of people think the economy is going in the right way. In the well, 17. that's all. That's always been the case. That's never no, been, that has not, never no, been. that's no, that's the lowest. Oh, of, come of, on, we follow. It's the lowest it's ever been. But yeah, but every every 
every poll I've seen from the time we've been on the air, yes, the the country's always polled heading in the wrong direction. Doesn't matter who's in power. I, I, I agree with that, but uh, yeah. but that's not what I. That's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is over 80% of the American people think uh -huh. it's going in the wrong direction the, at true. this time yeah. with the polls. Yeah. And, you know, and they're not blaming the, yeah. the Republicans for that. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> well, but you can also Sorry. point out, you can also point out that the approval rating of Congress has been dismal no matter who's in office. Oh, that, yeah, I mean, so, be, uh, but, yeah, but we keep 86% we send back. Why do I we know. do that? No, I, their, their approval rating has been below 20% for 50 years. It's, I know. That's why I say. So why do we keep sending these same assholes back? <laughs> Come on. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The voters, uh, the voters are uh, led by social media and uh, the, uh, the mainstream media. Because well, they're, uh, they're that's where, uh, I, you know, great whatever, maybe over average 80% of the people go back, but you know, since 1924, uh, the 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 party in the House or the party in the White House has lost an average of 26 seats. That's true. And, yeah, you know, they are. Yeah, midterms so, are disastrous you know, for the party in power. Look, and it's always been that way. Yeah, that's right. It's always so. Biden's a, a, a dead duck, and the Republicans will control the House. And you wait and see their committee meetings about Biden and his son and Russia and. Yeah. everything i mean no no they come on there's they're just just yeah. too much stuff that they're just ignoring from yeah well i don't think i don't think they're going to tackle any of that i think they're going to go oh yes them. they will i don't that's, think so no I that's don't think a so. job that's it's negative doing. it's negative you can't do negative stuff maybe negative to you no, it'll, you... Be, it'll be happy it'll be happiness to all the people that elected them to so what are you gonna you're gonna have a uh, january 6 type where it's all republicans and no democrats you don't need no it cross -examination. You, no, you, you, no you just need a committee meeting and you know, bring in some witnesses yeah. including biden's son and a few yeah, other and, and partner, and, yeah. his partners and you his computers and you put them in the record yeah. uh, you know that it's, you know, yeah. Be, it's, nah. yeah, and, and people will put it on to go to sleep by. No. So, yeah, they will. <laughs> now, the Republicans are going to go after the border. They're going to go after inflation. They're going to go after the stuff that, that matters. So that's where we are. So we're getting, off, so. Oil, we're getting off oil and gasoline here. No, because it, no, it's cancer. all relevant. It's, this well, is it is. Relevant. Yeah. But, all right. Okay. Talk that's about gonna... Saturday. No, no, you got to talk <laughs> no. about. Give them a hint for Thursday or something. No. Um, or talk about why. Well, why no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not oh. going to do either one. You're not? I'll tell you why after. I'll tell you why after uh, we go off the air. Okay. The bell talk? What's that? You're going to tell people about knocking the bell and wanting to. I am. Up and I am. If you, okay. if you be quiet for uh, 10 seconds, I'll, I just I'll do that. Fun with you. Just trying to have fun. <laughs> I understand that. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Don't forget, subscribe. Ring the notification bell because well, let me tell you something. If you subscribe, your chances of being eaten by uh, uh, zebras uh, will be just as will be the same uh, as, as they were before. So just subscribe, ring the notification bell, like us, leave a comment and uh, you know, because we're uh, we're here to, we're here for you. You know, we're not here for us. We're here for you. So, um, you know, if there's any way uh, you can help us out with subscribing and being here, we really appreciate it. And share the show. Share it with your friends. It's on YouTube. It's live. It's there. Share it with somebody. Let them know that hey, there's these two wacko guys are out here. You know, they're you know they're dumb they don't know we, anything but we may be old but we're cool we're very cool yeah we are cool well you got it i mean <laughs> that's a no-brainer <laughs> all right yeah I, I have my summer tan i feel <laughs> yeah good. i know yeah yeah all the uh all the women uh are going for you so yeah sure they are yeah <laughs> there you are hey don't forget um the award-winning tom and shane we write on medium.com we got articles over there on a variety of topics so um there's a link in the description below uh, to uh, those things. And uh, we will see you on our next podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. 
like us, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you soon.